In this video, we are going to understand how to send Outlook email when a new MailChimp subscriber is added. So here, let's say that every time a new subscriber is added to MailChimp, which is an email marketing tool, you want to send an email to the person, basically the new subscriber through Outlook. How can that be done? For this, we will have to integrate these two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabbly Connect. So here your trigger application will be MailChimp and your action application will be of Microsoft Office 365. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let's begin. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and here we have reached the landing page. Since I'm an existing user, I'm simply going to click on sign in. If you are a new user, you can sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes. Now, as we do that, here we have reached all apps page. These are the various products of Pabli. And I'm going to click on access now for Pabli Connect as we are going to do this integration using this software. Now, we have reached the dashboard. On the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. And a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here, my objective is to send Outlook email when a new MailChimp subscriber is added. So now I'm going to click on create. As I do that here, we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now, triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically, action here is the response of your trigger application. Now, as per this integration, my trigger application here will be MailChimp. So let's click on this. And what would be the trigger event? Now the trigger event is the event that is going to make this workflow run. And here it would be new subscriber. Let's click on this. Now here you can see that we have received a webhook URL which is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pabli Connect and MailChimp. I'm going to copy this. And then we are given this help desk, so I'm going to follow this. Let me show you exactly what you have to do. So this here is my MailChimp account. Here you can see audience. Let's go to manage audience. Here we have to go to settings. And now here I'm going to take you down. Let's go to webhooks. Now on the right hand side, we have a tab create new webhook. Let's click on this. And here we have to paste the URL that we have just received. Now here it is very well mentioned that you have to copy the webhook link above and paste it under callback URL that we have already done. Select the subscribers checkbox and all three options under only send updates when a change is made. So here I'm going to select subscribers, rest I'm going to uncheck and then here only send updates when a change is made so we are going to select all the three and click on save so once this is done we can see that our webhook has been all set now what is it asking me to do now here it is asking me to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill up these sign up forms so i already have created a few forms let me show you the same so here you can see these are the forms i'm going to go to form builder so this here is a sign up form i'm going to copy this link quickly and open this in a new incognito tab let's open this and here we can see that we have received the form right in front of us so here i'm going to give it first name which is smart then we have the last name which is dummy email address is smart dummy at pablitudes.com then we have the mobile number and now I'm going to click on subscribe. So here we can see that as soon as I click on subscribe here, we can see that the subscription has been confirmed. So now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to see if we have received the response and yes, here it is. So we have received the response with all the details about our customer which has been recently created. Now what do I have to do? I want to send an email to this person. For this, I'm going to choose my action application here as and what is the action event here to send mail. Let's click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with Microsoft Office 365 account. Let's click on add new connection, connect with Microsoft Office 365. And as soon as we do that, here we can see that it is asking us for the access. For that, I'm going to go down, click on yes. And here you can see that the authorization has been successful, which means that now Pabli Connect is connected with Outlook. Now here we have to fill in this information. First of all, the subject. So this is a required field. And what is the subject of this particular mail? So I'm just going to write, thank you for subscribing. 
okay and then we have the content type this is plain text what is the body content so i'm going to write dear and let's go to step one and here i'm going to first take the first name give a little space and then the last name put a comma now the method with which i have entered the information here is known as mapping mapping is important so that every time the workflow runs it can take the new data into consideration had i written this manually so even when my workflow was running for the nth time it would have taken the same information so here that i have written thank you for subscribing to mailchimp we are glad to serve your regards now to recipient here again i'm going to map the email address of the person so as i click on this go to step one and this here is the email address let's click on save and send test request and as i do that here you can see that i've received the api response according to which now an email must be received by the person so let's go and check the same and yes here you can see that we have received the mail so this basically means that our integration is a success but we also need to check the same in real time so i'm going to take you back to mailchimp and i'm going to copy this url once again open this in a new incognito window paste the link over here and here we have the form right in front of us let's say this time the first name is new the last name is user123 then we have the email address which is new user123 at pablitudes.com and then we have the mobile number plus 91 okay once i have entered this information i'm going to click on subscribe so yes i'm not a robot and uh, i'm going to verify this quickly okay let's click on subscribe and here we can see that the subscription has been confirmed now i'm going to take you back to the email address of the person let's quickly refresh this page and here we can see that we have received another email dear new user one two three thank you for subscribing to mailchimp we are glad to serve you so this basically means that our integration is a success let's quickly understand what we have done so here our trigger application is mailchimp where the event is new subscriber then our action application is microsoft office 365 where we had to send a mail i hope this is absolutely clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description you can also clone the same and start to process immediately Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.